Well, good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day. It's actually Friday morning. Uh, can't sleep. Woke up at like 3. Went back to sleep till like 3.05. Went back to sleep till like 4. Woke up at 5. Now it's like 5.36. <clears throat> Off today, driving up to Boston. It's about a six-hour drive to the hotel. And, you know, I figured I'd come downstairs and check out the fish room. And what I did last night, uh, if you remember from my last video, is these guys. <laughs> these guys, duh, camera fail. Hold on. So... As I was saying, these guys had spawned and laid eggs on that tile. I don't know if you can see the eggs. Some of them have already turned white, but there's still quite a few there. <clears throat> and I decided I would leave the light on up over here and leave them in the tank and let them uh, parent them for, you know, about 12 hours. Probably about 10 hours by the time we're done. If that. And uh, that's what happened. So here are the eggs in the next morning. So I'm going to uh, put them in that tank. Actually, last night I was gonna move them and she bit me pretty good. She didn't draw blood, but uh, she was being super protective. And you can see there, now she's fanning them to help the keep the fungus off. Now you can see there's a bunch of white ones already. Um, they really should be picking those clean. I'm not sure if that's his job and she's bullying him away from the eggs or is that her job and she's just not doing it yet. But <clears throat> what she's doing now is fanning the eggs, trying to keep them clean. You can see her tube is still down. Although it does look like there's a piece of poop there too. But that's that. And... Uh, He's trying to show off his stuff, too. Let's see. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, you can see his tube is down, too. Still. So, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water out of this tank because it's filled with hormones. And I'm going to put it in this tank. And I'm going to put it in this tank. And I'm going to put it in that tank. Yeah, I'm going to spread out the hormones. Now, <clears throat> You remember also I had a spawn in this tank, half on the slate, half on the uh, glass. And I'm gonna let these guys uh, eat their eggs. I mean, take care of their eggs. Um, even if I were to pull that slate, you can see about half of them are already uh, white, but we'll see what happens. I don't think we're gonna get a hatch. I think they're gonna eat them like they have done the last couple of times. Uh, they spawned quite a bit for me, these guys. Um, had some problems with the eggs at first, but, you know, we have we have some of their babies, that's for sure. Um, all these guys except for Solo, which, where is Solo? Right there with the orange. Um, all these guys except for Solo are theirs. So those parents are over here. Oh, did they spawn on the... Uh-oh. Yeah, they did, didn't they? I think they spawned on the standpipe. I think they spawned on the standpipe. There's a slate right there, dummies. Ugh. What is it with the my angels not spawning on their specific spawning spots? Specific spawning spots. Yeah, that's 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 good. So I'm gonna call it. Anyway, it appears either they are or they have spawned on the standpipe, which is half inch PVC. It's white. I'm thinking they're doing it now, actually. So I guess those eggs are gonna stay in there too. I could make a new standpipe. That really wouldn't be that big a deal, but. With me going away, we'll let nature take its course. Okay. Well. I guess the Barry White I played in the fish room the other night helped. Yeah. Alright. Sunday fun day. Uh, this is going to be all video shot, obviously, before Sunday. 
because I'll be at my local fish club auction when you're watching this. And I'll be filming as much as I can, as much as they allow, and as much as I think is interesting to you. So you guys can see it if you haven't been to a fish club auction. I haven't been to an auction in a very long time. <coughs> um, but yeah, maybe I'll even film uh, my buddy Colin who works in my local fish store. has a, a, a channel, Colin's Fish Room, I think, or Colin's Fish. Used to be his name, Colin Hughes, but he changed it recently. I'll put a link somewhere for you guys to check it out. He does a lot of the bigger stuff. Um... Well, he's going to come over and help me bag up because he's really good at it and I'm not. Haha. Alright, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. The slate, which we're calling a slate, but we all know it's not a slate. It's just floor tile. Um, is in the rearing tank. You can see I have the air stone blowing air all over it. I should have tried to film... Uh, me trying to get that slate out because she was attacking me. Very protective mama. I like it. Uh, anywho. Now I'm going to pour some methylene blue. Methylene blue. Which, uh, here's methylene blue. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to buy some off Amazon. Um, I've only ever used it in raising fish. It does stain. There's methylene blue on the floor. Um, it, it'll be on my fingers. It'll, it washes off your skin, but it does stain everything else. Um, that airline tubing that's blue is from methylene blue. Not that one, that came blue, but you know, that's blue. If I actually cared, I would buy only the blue tubing so that when I used methylene blue, it wouldn't dye, it would keep it the same color. But. <clears throat> it prevents fungus. It's a fun preventing fungus medicine. That's hard to say. I was gonna say fungicide, but I don't actually know if that's what it is. <clears throat> um, I dose. I used to dose. Look, she did cut me. Nice. That's gonna suck. Anywho, um, the dosage is one teaspoon per 10 gallons, but I kind of dose until it's like a nice blue. Um, I used to follow this exclusively, but I kind of overdose just a little bit, not too much. If you do too much, you'll kill the eggs. The other thing is, as they start, start to become wigglers, you have to start changing the water because a full dose of methylene blue will probably kill the fry as soon as they hatch. So, at least that's what I've been told. And because I've been told that I've never actually tried something else, so. All right, I'm gonna add some methylene blue. I'll be right back. Actually, folks, I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> this is half a dose. So this is half a teaspoon per 10 gallons, one teaspoon per five gallons, I guess. And that's what it looks like. And it'll, you know, it'll, as it's going through the water column, it'll become one solid color. And I'm gonna dose the other half. I just want to show you what half a dose look like. Again, this is how I artificially rear them. I've been semi-successful. Um, I've made some mistakes and I've learned from my mistakes. Um, you know, my successful hatch were, were these guys. <clears throat> there was probably 80 or 90 silvers. I already sold over half of them. Um, Maybe not 80 or 90, maybe less, but um, they grow up nice. And you know, there's some marbles from other spawns. There is one runt in there. Um, and you know, these guys kind of were a mistake, I guess you could say. Um, and these blue angels, I was shocked that they surprised. That's what these eggs are, blue angel eggs. I was shocked you survived because they spawned, like I said, the first or second night they were here, but yeah. So that's what it looks like after what we talked for a minute. I will dose the other half and you can see. Hold on. All right, fishy folks, there we are. <clears throat> a few minutes later, I uh, did a quick vacuum of the angelfish tanks um, on this side over here. Uh, just to clean it up a little bit and get the water levels down so I could add other water <clears throat> from the uh, from a tank that has all the hormones. 
See these little guys eating off the sponge? Nice. Good, good, good. All right, well, I'm gonna go move some water around. Um, and then feed. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I might be back, I might not. See ya.